My name is Frank Gross and I collect musical instruments. I come from a musical family. My mom was a church organist and my dad was in the church choir all their lives. That's like 40 years worth of uh, experience there. And uh, I was taught the piano. I got to grade five and I did the trombone. And so it sort of rubbed off on me. And I've always loved musical instruments. I, back in America, I didn't have, I only had the piano. But over here, I, I wanted to put things in my house that were interesting. And I thought musical instruments were that sort of thing. Now, this is my pride and joy. I got it at an antique store in Irene. It's a cello. Not full size, but I'll play you a couple of notes here on it. A la Philip Glass. <laughs> been interested in garage sales and going to markets ever, ever since uh, I can remember actually. Uh, I, I love going to these places and um, the, the, the variety of the things that you can get at these places is great. And uh, I just started buying small trinkets at the beginning, small musical instruments, and uh, it's sort of, sort of uh, gradually built up to buying larger musical instruments. I have a nose flute. I, I, I'm afraid to, to play it because I'm constantly stopped up in my nose. And if I play it, it I won't talk about it anymore, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a theremin, which is my second pride and joy. It is the world's first electronic instrument. And it was developed by Leon Theremin in Russia, 1928. If you've seen the movie, The Day the Earth Stood Still, you will have heard the theremin. And of course, if you like the song, The Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys, that song ends with theremin music. So here is the theremin. It's a musical instrument that you play without touching. <laughs> Some of the things you can buy at the markets or garage sales are quite remarkable. 